at Council. WOKB Winter Garden Orlando. Welcome to another edition of Real Family Talk. Hello, hello. Welcome to another week of Real Family Talk. This is your host, Jay Real. Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday night uh, in Orlando. We got great weather this week, so uh, it is feeling good outside. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's just a nice kind of cool breeze outside right now. It's lovely weather for Orlando this uh, this fall having a good little time uh but i uh, hope everybody's out there is having a good uh night as well let me go ahead and introduce the panel here with me tonight uh mr jeremy's in the building how you doing tonight jeremy i'm good how's every how's everybody doing out there <laughs> are you all right <laughs> I'm, I'm fine how you doing fine. out there <laughs> uh miss mccray's back in the building how you doing tonight miss mccray good evening everybody i'm blessed Awesome, awesome, and uh, we got Mr. Michael King is always back there on those boards. How you doing, sir? Indeed, sir. I am doing great. Blessed to be here today. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's let's go ahead and get it out the way because I know you you want to say it, but you are waiting for me to say it. <laughs> you are, I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> so we we'll get it out the way. Don't do it for to be said. Don't say yes, it. the Steelers lost oh, again this no, week. No, no, they, they didn't Man. lose. But oh, uh, <laughs> what was that called, brother Jeremy? What was that called? Uh, 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 it was much worse than a loss. They got Charlie batched. That's what they got. They didn't get Charlie you batched. You can't even say they got that, Charlie batched. That wasn't batched. even Charlie batched, man. Batched. When every single Charlie running back. Charlie batched then dropped the ball eight times. When, when every single running back you have fumbles all on the same night. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. That's Everybody, I think they went through, I think, four different a, running backs. definition of a bad night. Four fumble four different times. Yes, Charlie Batch did throw uh, three INTs. Um, you know, and you know how INTs go. Some of them, one or two of them, your fault. One or one or two of them, the, the receiver could have helped you out, but he didn't. But you know, whatever. But uh, but yeah. So all together, I think there was uh, eight turnovers uh, in that game uh, on uh, on Sunday. So you know, when you we like like the coach Mike Tomlin said, man, when you have eight turnovers and you still <laughs> have a chance to win the game, I mean, hey man, we lost, but man, whoa. That was rough. That was rough. You know what I mean? A lot of people trying to put it on Charlie, but, hey, man, when the running backs are fumbling that many times, man, you can't put that all on Charlie, man. It's been – Charlie ain't played all season long. The first time he took some rep was you know, so it was the last week before the game. So, you know, you you can expect Charlie to go out and kill him anyway. And but, he's uh, 48 years old. <laughs> 38. He's 38, wow. man. 38 years old. So, you can't – you know, you can't expect Charlie to win the game. Uh, in that type of situation, but uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, but we're not out; we're down, but we're not out. We still, we're still in that kind of wild card hunt. So uh, we'll see what's ha- we'll see what's going to happen. Apparently, Big Ben is, is is doing his best to get back by this uh, next week and, and maybe you, play and you, in you the Baltimore game. You can clearly see that we'll that is see. the problem. Y'all Man. are a Big Ben team. Y'all need that quarterback back. That, yeah, that's no, what, hey, there's a lot of teams they, out what there. They should have di- didn't do. They shouldn't have cut Dixon. A couple of years ago, was it a couple of years ago? Or they cut just no, nah, they cut them this, this year. This year, see, that's what they should have kept. They had a third stringer that was to me was actually better than Batch was because he can move around. He's just not as big as Ben. I think he would have won that game. I think what happened though is with uh, with the new office and coordinator, it's more of a passing attack, and he's you know he, he's he's Dennis Dixon. He's not viewed as that drop back kind of passer guy. So I think he didn't quite fit the system that they were playing in the run. Ben run just run around just as much as he always had. Yeah, but he, but they're also passing a lot more, which I think is is that's what I'm saying. I don't think that it doesn't fit right. fit the, the the model passing attack that they're trying to build. You know, I, 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 we, him, I we can disagree because I, I think I ask think him I, about that night. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. I would rather have Dennis Dixon in the backfield, but you know, you know how it's the NFL. You know what I'm saying? They're looking for drop back passes. You know, nine times out of ten. And you know, unfortunately for him, he's not—he's not at least considered to be that guy. So you know, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, I think more and more as we move along with the success of like Cam Newton and Robert Griffin III, 
Uh, well, I guess we don't call Cam Newton a success this year, but but last year the man was a success. <laughs> <laughs> that man got a problem to hit. He'll, he'll be back next year, but uh, but with the success of those types of quarterbacks, I, I think it, it can be done. But but you gotta have, you gotta you gotta figure out the white right way to do it. So, uh, but hey, man, like I said, we're down, we're not out. Still, still got a chance to to make a wild card playoff berth. So, keeping hope alive, keeping hope alive. <laughs> the, Steelers. the Steelers, man, Steelers Nation, man. Shout out to all them Steelers fans, man. I know y'all out there with me. But uh, but we'll, we'll move on from the Steelers. Got a couple of news stories I want to uh, bring up, talk to you guys about, get some opinions from you guys. Uh, the first one, I was uh, checking out the Orlando Sentinel today. And it would seem uh, FAMU is, is trying to get the, the lawsuit about Robert Champion thrown out on the basis that since he participated in the act, uh, then the school shouldn't be held liable. I saw that. So I think that I think the, I think the article said that that was going before the judge on tomorrow. Um, interesting, interesting. I I, I I see where the school's coming from. Uh, I, I do too. I see where the school's coming from because if if you're going to participate in the act, you almost have to accept whatever consequences come from said act. Obviously, the consequences that came from it, no one expected to happen. Uh, nobody, nobody wanted that to happen. No. But, uh, but that was the result of what, at least from all intents and purposes, seems to be a voluntary act uh, by Mr. Champion at the time. The, the thing that I, that I, you know, I don't question or fault the school for doing what they're trying to do because obviously they're, they're also trying to save face because if they lose, <laughs> uh, at least there's a cap as far as how much uh, the the family can actually get from a state university. There is a cap on that. But nonetheless, yeah. they still don't want to be responsible for that money. Um, and so I, I get what the school's saying, but at the same time, it's kind of like they're right back out there. You know what I mean? It's, a, it, it's almost that time where you just kind of want – the, the school to kind of run under the radar <laughs> and as, as much publicity as they get the more people you know have have an opportunity to kind of bash on the school a little bit more just one more time if you will uh and so from that perspective it's like but, you, you're pushing uh you're kind of treading uh, thin water here fam but go ahead jim but it's a, it's a legal strategy i'm sure it was brought about by the lawyers and everything which is you know at the end of the day they have a job to do because, you know, just like in any company, if you work for a company and they provide certain uh, safety videos and instructions and you learn them, you sign the paper saying that you did learn them and you um, get hurt at, at work and you didn't follow those standards that you say you learned and that you would follow, they're not liable for your, your, um, your injury anymore. You know, that's the point of those documents. So, you know, I mean, I understand why they're doing it. Is it right? I don't know, but... I can't say I wouldn't have did it. <laughs> you know, I'm with you, but you know, it's it's part of the legal game. Mm. Uh, four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty is the number. Four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty is the number. If you ever, if you want to comment on any of this, uh, you got anything you want to add to Miss McCray? I know that's your baby. I know. I know you don't you don't like talking don't, about your baby. I don't baby. like talking about it. Um, <laughs> I really don't. It's so sensitive because, like Jeremy said, you can see both sides. This he was a willing participant in this activity. Nobody went out and sought out to murder him. That that's not in their thoughts. I don't think anybody wanted to kill the guy. It's very sad that he did end up passing. But if he would have gone through with it, he would have worn it as a badge of honor and probably done it to the next group of kids because it's been going on for so long. So it's it's hard. It's hard either way to look at it. At the end of the day, he is no longer with us. All right. Ms. King, you got anything you want to say or should we go on? Uh, give the people their money. That's all I can say. I mean, <laughs> people feel like death. Somebody died in the wrong, they want to get paid. I mean, sadly, that's the way it is. But at the same time, get the people their money and get it behind you. You know, do the best thing because if it was your child, you would want some money at the least. At the least. I can't get my child back, so at least give me some money. And that's how they seeing it. That's how they want it. I say do it. Get it behind you. I mean, 
It ain't like you won't get the money back next year. You mean when uh, you collect new tuitions? When you collect new the, tuitions, well, the tax writer. I mean, it, basically, it is a nothing but a tax write off. It's simple as that. I mean, you, you should have accountants that's gonna handle that. Um, you know, you you go. It's not like you're gonna miss the money. Fam is definitely one of the the the, the most known black schools in Florida, if anything. But um, you know, give them people their money, man. Don't don't be trying to weasel out of it. You know, you knew it was going on. Like like you said, it's a tradition that people do in college. So you kind of knew it was going on. So give them people their money and get it behind you. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, it's uh. You, well, first of all, I don't think you you get the money back in the following year because that money is going to be gone once it's gone. But but uh, like you said, it is a little touchy. Uh, definitely from the school's perspective. Again, you don't want to pay out any money, but uh. It's almost one of those things. You just want to keep out of the eye. Everybody's already downing on you as a as an organization. Um, the financial problems that the school's been having over the last uh, few years have been already blasted all over the news. Um, obviously, we lost they lost the uh, president um, behind. Well, I guess it's uh, I guess you can blame the incident, but apparently there's a lot of other things going on with the president. But uh, mm. <laughs> we won't speak on that. We don't want to get into controversy mm. at the school or anything, but. But you know, uh, you know, it, it's it's unfortunate, it, you know, like you said, and uh, well, hope, hopefully they work things out, man. But slide it under the rug, man. I, I know everybody missed the uh, the the fam you marching one hundred this year at the classic. I know Charlie Wilson. Yeah. I hear Charlie Wilson did his thing, but uh, Charlie Wilson is still no marching one hundred. So no, he not. I'm, so I'm mixing we, the ex- uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry. So we we need to hurry up and get them back, man, and get this thing. Uh, out of the out of the spotlight and then back uh, to to business as usual, if you will, uh, or at least better business as usual. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. One more story here. Um, Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson. I saw Jesse Jackson Jr. resign Jesse Jackson. Uh, from the from Congress. He he won uh, back on November uh, six. He won his seat back um, in spite of all of his uh, mental troubles he's been having lately. And now, a couple of weeks after the election, he's decided he is he does need to resign and uh, let somebody else take his seat. Any any thoughts on that? I, I, I'm kind of I always liked Jesse Jackson Jr. I thought he was a little bit more. Uh, I always thought he was a little bit more genuine than his dad. It's kind of unfortunate to see you know the the sad state of affairs that's kind of happened to him in the last in the last year here. Because now um, he's got his mental problems. They uh, diagnosed him being bipolar. In addition to that, he's also under investigation uh, for um, some, there's some campaign discrepancies uh, because essentially they were spending money during the period of time that he was in the hospital. So it's like, how is he spending money when he's in the hospital on a campaign when he's really yes. not campaigning? So there's, there's some questions. There's That's some right. questions there. So there's a lot of things going on, but uh, you know. I didn't necessarily agree with everything he had to say because he is a pretty liberal guy. But, but uh, nonetheless, uh, what, I've always the, liked him as an individual. I, what's I, wrong with campaigning while you're in the hospital? No, well, see, that's the problem. He's supposed to be, he was supposed to be in the hospital getting his head right. Now, you, now how can you affect? Let's let's well, let's say this. If you really try to get your head right, should you be campaigning? <laughs> Let's well, say that. I mean, but that's why you got a committee that's campaigning for you. It's not saying that, oh, I'm traveling here and there, but you still got people putting up signs and handling your business while you, you know, getting your head right. So when you come out, you ain't lost a step. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I say like that he ain't no crazy than he was before he went in. No. <laughs> that man don't want to go to jail. That's what it, he set up that defense. So when he got to do that time, he did, do it at Shady Acres. Instead of Statesville, that's all that is. <laughs> what? That's that's what most Statesville ain't no joke. That's what most people do. <laughs> Statesville ain't no joke. Four seven eight nine four sixteen eighty. So he's he's setting up an insanity defense. Right. Come on. Is man. that what it is? <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> because he's been shady. Wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man God. ain't trying to go up the road. Is that what it is? It's all a, it's all a, a political stunt. <laughs> Clearly. I'm just saying. Clearly, you don't. Uh, Ain't nothing wrong with his daddy. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with his daddy. You heard anything about his mama being crazy? <laughs> All right. Wait. For, Most of that stuff is hereditary. Let's not call them crazy. People with bipolar, they're not crazy. It's a mental illness. Yeah, so what does crazy mean? Don't say crazy. They're not crazy. They have a I think Chris Rock said the best. What's, what, 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 people can't be crazy no more? There are some <laughs> crazy people, but people with bipolar... 
They are, they are not crazy. Okay, it's a disease. It's a mental disease. It's yeah. a disease that make you crazy. Okay. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Nah, I ain't, I ain't, too, I ain't always wrapped too tight myself. So, you know, don't, yeah. I'm, it's, it's not coming from somebody who does, you know. You can't say crazy in 2012, brother. You know that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I ain't running for office. <laughs> I see. So they uh, all crazy. Ask me. I, I see Jimmy Shine is uh, is on the phone. Jimmy How you Shine, doing tonight, what's Jimmy, up, Shine? Jimmy Shine? Giving honor, giving honor to God, always, and our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, boy? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you hear him hear say that? Jamie Fox? Yeah. yeah, I did hear Jamie Foxx. Oh the other my day. goodness! Jamie. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna puke. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, uh, this was the Soul Train. This was the BET Soul Train Awards. Jamie Foxx was the host. His very first statement, he compares the Lord Jesus Christ to Barack Obama. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, Brother J. Real. Is Barack Obama your Lord and Savior? Not at all, brother. Not at all. <laughs> I, uh, I think, I know he was making a joke. But boy, that that was deep there. That was heavy there. That just threw me for a loop. And I just want to get some comments on what you guys thought about that. Out of line. Yeah, I think it was a little over the top. Jamie. But like, but like yeah. you say, most people are going to try to play it off like, oh, he was just joking. But oh, it was just a joke. Don't nobody play like that. Exactly. You don't play you like don't that. You don't play like that. You ain't supposed you know. to. Let's I say don't that. care who you is. But like, like, but, like, like, but like you told me, it's 2012. That's, that's funny now. <laughs> <laughs> He's a comedian trying to be funny for a joke that wasn't. See, funny. back in my day, they would have threw the oil at you. Yeah, <laughs> but see, <laughs> he know better because that man had an old school grandma. He know better than that. Right. Pull him off the stage immediately. Immediately with the cane. They you would have had the little man juggling on there. Had the music come on. The cane would have came out. All you would have seen was a tie flying off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, uh, let me let me come in on Jesse Jackson Jr. Now I know what Jesse Jackson Jr. Now I know what the uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for bipolar. Now I know what the bipolar excuse was all about. See, uh, see, he was like this. Either they were pressuring him. They told him they were going, we're going to investigate you over the Rob Blagojevich, uh, Barack Obama thing. Well, Blagojevich is going to jail. Mm-hmm. He's gone. That wasn't good enough. They came after Jesse Jr. and said, well, we're going to go. We're going to get you now. So Jesse said, well, I'm crazy. You know, mm-hmm. I, 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 I done lost it. You know, I'm going to the crazy house. <laughs> so you yep. can't get me. Mm-hmm. And now it all begins to make sense. Now the whole picture is coming together. So I'm sure that uh, Jesse is still under pressure. That's why he has decided to resign. <laughs> Told you. It, it just makes sense now, because I didn't think that, you know, Jesse Jackson Jr., a guy with a, with a father like Jesse Jackson and a member of the Gay Boule uh, Secret Society, you know, you ain't going to be, you ain't going to just, you ain't going to just push him around, okay? He's got too many horses, he's got too many people covering him. So you ain't going to be messing with Jesse Jr. unless you really got something to nail him with, and apparently they did. So he had to back down, claim to be crazy, and say, uh, I'm out. Hey, <laughs> you know, you. you'll do anything to keep him going to jail. Uh, they, <laughs> they, they weren't trying to hit me, Jimmy Shine. <laughs> see, see, personally, though, Jimmy, I, I don't think that uh, Triple J, that's what we're going to call him for now, Jesse right. Jackson Jr., I don't think Triple J was a part of Boulay. I think that they was trying to get him to be a part, and then they would have threw it up under the rug because your father is. But uh-huh. since he didn't want to get uh-huh. down. So you admit that Jesse Jackson is with the Boulay. Come on, now that brother ain't doing nothing for black people. <laughs> you know uh-huh. that's the whole thing about Boulay. If you, uh, you, you cannot do nothing for black people. You the, you the house slave. You know, brother, there are those who say there is no Boulay. They are, saying that, they are saying that you and I are making that up. There ain't, there ain't no boule. Real quick, real quick. I don't cause, even know what Because a lot of people are looking at y'all about. talking about boule. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking so, about? So Google. real quick, just give me Google. a short synopsis of, of, what, of what, what we're talking about here. The boule secret society is an African Amer- a powerful secret society of African-American gay and bisexual men. They meet every year in Atlanta, Georgia, and they plan, and they organize, and they share things that uh, gay and bisexual men sometimes share. 
And so because they're all so powerful, uh, very few people know about them. And they, they are able to manipulate, they are able to infiltrate government, infiltrate banking. Some of the most powerful men in Hollywood are Boule. And uh, it's just one of those things that most black people are never even exposed to. They never even, they never hear about it. They don't know anything about them. And I wait for you guys to come on because I know you know something about it. Well, I, I would say this. I, because, you know, I have the resident conspiracy brother on the panel with me every week, Mr. <laughs> Michael King. <laughs> I have actually heard of the boule. Yes, we are familiar with <laughs> so, that. So I have heard of the boule, and, uh, and Mr. King has, has spent hours trying to educate me on their existence <laughs> and their plots yeah. and their plans. So, yeah. so I am familiar. Um, all I'll say is, you know, it's, it's like any of the secret, soci secret societies that exist. Uh, in, in the world, it's one of those things that uh, until you are actually able to physically meet or uh, be invited to be a part of that organization, uh, the masses are going to question, uh, you know, they're going to question you for, for, for acknowledging yeah. its existence, one, uh, but then they're just going to generally question the belief that there's an organization out there uh, that we seek, because especially, you know, from what Mr. King likes to say, um, you know, the, one of the main ideas of the organization is to bring people in, and the goal is really to, as he describes it, um, is to really be a house slave um, and sort of pretend to be mm -hmm. about, um, you know, supporting black issues, but really, you know, kind of standing back and making sure that you kind of have a name, but you're not really doing anything. Uh, yeah. So you can kind of get some credit, but at the same time, you're not really doing anything on the back end. But um, let, let me so, put, okay. Let me give you something. Let me give you something. Go to go, tonight's project. Go to YouTube and type in the Gay Boule Secret Society and listen to researcher uh, Bobby Hemmett, uh talk about the Gay Boule and some of the things that the Boule are into. Some of the things that they're into in government and entertainment and uh, Hollywood. Man, he. Hemmings is Hemmings is sort of ghetto, but please don't 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 count that against him. He knows a lot and he says a lot. That's the <laughs> Gay Boule Secret Society on YouTube. I appreciate it, man. See, that just make it make it more believable because he ain't got nothing to lose. Look, <laughs> there he, you go. He, he tripping. <laughs> I have he, he tripping. never. You heard, heard of him for this. real? Ever. Oh my goodness! Well, let me ask you this, Miss McCray. Ever have you ever heard of? Um, What's the, the the female stars? I forgot what they the call Eastern stars. Eastern the Eastern stars. stars. Yeah. Yeah. Star. So you've heard of the Eastern stars because you are a female, and that's what the female. I'm not going to say the female that's version the of, female. but oh, yeah. Beyonce is an Eastern star. Mo most of female, not Masons, they're Eastern stars. It's a lot oh, of right. secret societies that try to get people in. Oh, see, but see, I don't, I don't think that they were actually started in that way. I think they were infiltrated, like most. Uh, Illuminati societies do. They infiltrate your society like they will infiltrate Deltas, and then they will get all the rest of the Deltas to try to join them and follow them and do what they're trying to do. Brother, what is your name? Mr. Michael oh King, sir. Okay, well, you, I got to talk to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot. Much. I tell you, that's, that's my resident much. conspiracy, brother. Anytime I, I need know to know nothing. the latest conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> too late to back out now, brother. I'm reading this on the Google right now. I don't that's, know nothing. That's my man. I, 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 I can find it all with that brother right there. Wow. Man. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'll, I'll bug out now. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for calling, Jimmy, man. But, as uh, always. As always, man. It's always good to hear We enjoy you, man. Always. We enjoy you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man. A lot of secret societies out there. Check it out. I don't know. Make, it, make your own decision. The boule, that's what they refer to the but, but that's what I was saying, though. I, I, I think that's what happened with Triple J. I think that, um, you know, you, you got to either get down or lay down. I saw that in some movie. I don't know what movie it was. But you're going <laughs> to get down or you're going to lay down. And it's either you're going to get down with us or you're going to lay down and get out of office, one or two. Because once your name is out there in public, we can either humiliate you or we can put you on a pedestal, one or the two. Hmm. And I think that's what happened with Triple J. Mm. Real, real quick, brother, how, how you spell that boule form? So just in case they do want to Google it. That's the thing about Google. Once you type in B O U, it'll pop, I, it'll up. pop up. That's <laughs> all. It's that simple with that. I mean, it's B O U. Huh, I, I can find out, but you just got to type in B O U, 
B O U L E, I think. All right. So go out and find out for yourself whether or not you believe the boule they're called. But, uh, but yeah, man. So, Jensen. Yeah, B O U L E. There you go. All right. Did you want to say something, brother? No, oh, no. Oh, I'm, okay. I, I've said enough. So, I, I'm reading it right now online. So That's I said, I you said too much, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm on the, the, on, the, on the radio. I don't know nothing. Let that be known. I don't know nothing. So, uh, yeah, but Jesse Jackson, man, uh, hopefully, like I said, I hope everything works out for the brother. Um, the last thing I want to see is brothers go down. So, um, you know, that like the Clash brother, Mr. Elmo, man. <laughs> Third person. <laughs> Third person on the on the train, on the on the Elmo train right now. So that brother probably about to go down, too. <laughs> he, he done made somebody mad. Somebody. But uh, we'll move on, man. How about Thanksgiving, y'all? How was y'all Thanksgiving, man? My Thanksgiving was wonderful. <laughs> seen the first ever Big Mac cake I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, extra mayo and everything. <laughs> uh, He's still on that cake, boy, ain't he? <laughs> to uh, any of his family that's listening, just disregard that statement. Y'all keep on cooking and doing what you're doing. And I didn't have none of it. As I was told, it tastes good, though. <laughs> they said it tastes good, so I was like, well, you know, well, it may, I never said it didn't have a good personality. <laughs> I just said it wasn't too appealing to look at. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all know that's my brother, so, you know. <laughs> we were in the same the, building. Don't, don't pay no attention to me, y'all. Mr. Mr. King was there, too. I told y'all. I, 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 I told, I told y'all. I'm not I, talking about the cake. I told y'all a little early. I was a little touched, too. So. Oh, Hey, I, I, you know, one, the one thing I say about uh, Thanksgiving, and, and, you know, this is Thanksgiving every year for us, uh, but what I had to laugh at, um, every year there's the tradition. You know, everybody knows it's Thanksgiving, so you're going to eat. But the tradition for at least half of our family is basically you make three or four plates to take home. And then after you make your take home plates, you come back <laughs> to make the plate that you plan to eat that day. That's the <laughs> and I started that tradition. Nobody Man. was doing that before me. I take so, full credit for so that. So I had to laugh nah, because. No, you weren't the first. You were, in actuality, you really wasn't the very first. Hold on, hold on. So I had to laugh because uh, I made three pounds of mac and cheese. I told you last week I was taking yeah. mac and cheese. Three pounds of mac and cheese I made. Now, by the time, because I chose that day to just chill back and wait because I already knew that the rush was coming. I chose, I chose to chill back and wait. By the time I went to get my plate, the second pan <laughs> was already three-fourths gone. Yeah. <laughs> That was a bad decision, brother. <laughs> By the time I went back and said, man, let me see if there's any more left. The third pan was already gone, along with most of the other food. <laughs> that, that was a bad decision. This was the thing. Which I had to laugh at because I was just like, you know, and we, we made an a, a effort to bring twice the amount of food that we had last year. Nah. And we still ended up in the same place within an hour and a half. <laughs> it was longer this year, boy. So let me tell you about some greedy Negroes here. <laughs> All this happened within the span of about 30 minutes. It sure did. That's, That's not even lie. <laughs> within the span of about 30 minutes. And, and, and it ain't like it was 100 people in the house. It was, under it was about 50, maybe. Gone. That's a problem. Gone. <laughs> we eat. Everybody can't but, get some food. Uh, but see, it, it was worse than that last year. Because some yeah, of the fellas last year, they went and played basketball. Yeah, we went and played ball before came we back, ate. We came back home. Food, no food. Wasn't no food. That's a problem. You know, we, if no we food. wasn't saved, we would have fought. <laughs> Oh yes, oh but thank God we got some praying auntie. <laughs> <laughs> so they they quelled that spirit before we even got back to the house. <laughs> so y'all just were left without no food. Left I without ate. Oh, 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 no, no, my, my, I guess my wife. She, okay. she, my wife made sure I ate. She she gave me a little plate. She she hurried and grabbed something for everything was gone. Can I tell you what I do? I make I take the first one to the car, and I eat the second plate. <laughs> You always, I don't care where you at, you always make that first plate. You wrap it up in some foil because half the stuff come in foil anyway. So you wrap it up in some foil, you take the first one to the car. But see, there lies the problem. If if you taking two plates and everybody can't eat, that's oh, a problem. Everybody's eating. That's not the problem. Everybody's eating because everybody's going to get a plate. Okay. It's just you take the first one to the car. That's just common sense. You just know that. Who doesn't do? Why wouldn't you do that? That's what I'm trying to figure. Four seven eight nine four sixteen eight. Is it? Do, are you? Do you have to take your first plate to the car to ensure that you eat well that day at your Thanksgiving? 
<laughs> now, I will say no, this. I need, we, we, need, we, do, we, need to, we do need to re-examine that because it wasn't always <laughs> like that. You know, but back in the day, you could still get to play at 6, 7 o'clock at night. Nah, you can't get nothing past, what, one thirty. But they, see, that was when we everybody was at, bringing a food. If we start plate, eating so. at 2 o'clock by, by 3.30 at the latest. 3.30 at the that, latest. That no, food gone. That's <laughs> gone. Try Everything three. is gone. You on dessert and you eating one. No, nah, you ain't eating on dessert because they, they packing that up too. <laughs> no, nah, you eat Big Mac cake, right? <laughs> big, big Mac cake. I'll tell you one thing. I that house is, is one place to find out what's nasty. That is true. Because if everything <laughs> gone but but a few things, you already know. What was what was still there at your house, uh, brother brother Jeremy? What was still there? What was there? I don't know. I, I recall. I don't know. I seen some greens that was still there. It I don't was know. some greens. It, I seen some greens that was. It was about eight pots of greens there. It though. was. It was uh, some greens that was there though. Because Slugger was talking about the greens. <laughs> 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 well, well, Slugger go in, boy. Slugger will go in on if you think he that brother to, Jeremy. He worse to me. If you think brother Actually, that's, Jeremy, that's where I got. That's where boy, I got it from. I, I grew up listening to him. Slugger will go in on your food to your face with a straight face, and he would just talk about your food like that's, what, that's why half of them be scared to bring food to the house because <laughs> of Slugger. I don't want them talking about my food. <laughs> just bring your food. That's what happened though, because back when we was going to Avon Park in Seaburn. Everybody brought something. Yeah. If it was potato chips, everybody brought something. Now you just got the same five or six aunties that's bringing something, and everybody else is like, uh, I don't want to bring nothing because I don't want nobody talking about it. Family. Family. But, you know, <laughs> it's all love. It's all, it's all love. 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 Hey, how, how else you going to know? If you, I don't be honest you, with you, you, well, serve, you serving you, at the, you, the regular you, people and they just eating it and talking you about you behind your back. We're you want me to let you go to front. work and the bear show self? <laughs> now all year, everybody at work looking at you laughing. <laughs> See, if you come there first, exactly, let us give it to you. And, and you now know. you know I'm going to go either retweet this recipe mm-hmm. or I'm not cooking them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because you don't want to take that to the potluck at work. No, and then they do like, that. uh-uh, don't let her know. Let her you know they of the potluck. Then they're talking about I thought black people can cook. You want them saying that about you? <laughs> I thought they say black people from the South can cook. I guess there are exceptions to every role. <laughs> well, Not my family. I don't, I don't want them to be treated 16, like that. 80. that. That wasn't how it went down in my house. And we had about 15, 16 people. And we had plenty of food left. Folks took to go plates and everything. So we had a wonderful thing. See, that's the same thing at all. People had to go plates. What was the difference? I don't understand. <laughs> Meaning everybody was able to eat. Everybody ate in eat, my house eat too. Well. They ate well at the actual dinner. No, see, that's the problem. We all sat see, down together. See, this is my thoughts. <laughs> we we go play basketball, so <laughs> I don't want to eat eat and get full. So what I do is I stack that first plate up to be w- like it's a last meal, and I'm going oh to the electric gosh. chair. <laughs> and then I go back, and I eat light so that I won't be too full so that I can dunk on them boys like I was doing on Thanksgiving. Because I was balling. They were calling me LeBron out there. Oh, <laughs> you were dunking too, huh? <laughs> I slapped the glass. <laughs> you slapped the glass? With a glass on the bench net. over there? I, was, <laughs> I grabbed the net. That's what I do did put the glasses down, didn't he? <laughs> That's all right, brother. <laughs> hey, we won two out of four. That's all I know. <laughs> Hey man, like I said, it, it, it's all love. Uh, I'm not uh, disparaging anything on my family. Love them all. Yeah, love they, them all. They just all don't need to be cooked. <laughs> That's right. They just all don't need to be cooking. That's all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it, it was good times. The other thing that made me laugh though at Thanksgiving, uh, you know, only one in the family that uh, <laughs> that, that was bold enough to, to make that bold move. And so, uh, so I, I believe behind my back they have family prayer to pray that that, that conservative spirit <laughs> yes, uh, had to come up out of me. Would come up out of me. Lord, Lord help her. So the next time I won't have that problem. <laughs> Lord help him. For he, he know not what he doeth. <laughs> I'm talking about who you voted for? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. They yes, did sir. put you out there with oh. that one. Oh, somebody got on you at, at oh. a family so, gathering? Let, let, let me tell you how they did it, though. Uh-oh. So what we do is we go around a circle. And let the entire family say what we're giving thanks for. Right. So I think it was it before that you went, Jim, or was it? No, it, it was it was way before. It, I, I, that I, was like I'm about the, to say, one of the first comments. I don't even think it was his time to go, and they were just like, "Pray for uh, Jimmy, because you know he voted for uh, Mitt Romney." <laughs> <laughs> Everybody turned and looked at him. It was like, you, you know it was a Southwest moment. You want to get away? Like seriously, because 
I was like, where did Uh-oh. that come from? Because the man voted for Mitt Romney. Can't he get a plate? Like, they wouldn't even go let that man <laughs> nope, eat. can't eat. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I, I, I pray for them, too, so that they come around the next time as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you were the only one in your family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. No, no. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. There are more? I, I'm in the family. Wait, you you said you didn't vote for mm-hmm. Romney. You didn't get to vote at all. Oh, but I, I wouldn't have voted for him. Um... <laughs> You were going to vote for a Libertarian mm. or a Green Party Thank or somebody? You. Thank you. I was going to either vote for Jill, because I want to see women in power go, sister. Oh or either God. I was going to vote for Ron. One of the two. Okay. I think it's about time that women stand up and take their true role. 2016, Hillary Clinton's probably going to stand up. So yeah, I don't mm. want to see a white woman, but you know a woman. <laughs> a woman is that. <laughs> see? see? <laughs> What the woman is gonna be though? Oh my god! Uh, I I go. Uh, with, what's her name? Uh, Condoleezza. Uh, Condoleezza don't want that. Don't want that. Mm-hmm. Condoleezza had enough of politics, I believe. Yeah, she's she's good as a professor, writing she's her in, books. She's enjoying life. She's had Playing eight golf. years. Eight years in the in the White House. I think Condoleezza's like I'm. I'm good. I'm good. I got my PhD. Mm-hmm. I'm doing very well at this university. People are buying my books. They're still loving me on the circuit. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I think Kyle kind of is good, man. Four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty is the number. Four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty. Um, yeah, man. But you know, Thanksgiving, man. I hope everybody out there had a great Thanksgiving too. Uh, like I said, it, it was uh, it was an interesting experience, and uh, like I told them, I'm praying for them, just like they praying for me. So <laughs> we will be praying for each other. Hopefully next time somebody, that conservative spirit will, will, somebody will hit them. Want, somebody wanted me to ask you, what happened to your arm after the game? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have an accident playing basketball, j No accident. No accident. Just aggravated uh, an injury that I had uh, in my arm. An That's injury. All. An injury that I had <laughs> in my arm. After the game, we played basketball that evening, and I did aggravate an injury in my arm. Yeah, um, it was sore I, I for two st- days. I got to stick up for bro. He, he he did pretty good. Not done stepped on the court in what a year, two years maybe, probably something like that. Yeah, something like that. So he still <laughs> got all, all that playing ball when he was young. It, you know, come back. Like I was telling the, the little jits, you know, it's like riding a bike. You know, when you really play ball, you don't forget. Okay. But uh, but yeah, it, it's it's better now. It's better now. Good. Uh, a leave is a powerful thing. Brad. We want you in one piece. A leave is a powerful thing. <laughs> Shout out to the people that make a leave. I think it's Bayer that make a leave. But <laughs> but yeah, man, real quick, uh, we want to roll into something else as we uh, we uh, roll into the last uh, 20 minutes of the show here. Living your dream in 2013. Living your dream in 2013. Uh, 2013, sorry. <laughs> 407-894-1680. Uh, I want to hear from the people, man. What What are you kind of preparing for? Um, you know, as as the new year approaches, most people start making uh, those d- declarations of of how the next year is going to be better than this year. So we're about a month away uh, from that next year approaching, um, and so I want to hear from you guys. Um, we're going to talk about a little bit too about some of the things we're preparing for in 2013. But what what are you doing um, in preparation, or what are you planning to do, perhaps? Uh, moving into 2013, it's going to be different from what you were doing in 2012. 407-894-1680 is the number. 407-894-1680 is the number. Um, I, I, I'll start here first. You know, obviously we've been doing Real Family Talk now for uh, slightly over a year at this point. Shout out to the year for Real Family Talk. Um, and so just in 2013, you know, we just plan to kind of expand on what we've already been doing. I um, want to try to start bringing some business people in uh, to talk to us about uh, retirement and, uh, you know, mutual funds and stocks, things of that nature. Talk to us about taxes and, and preparing for uh, the tax season in, um, coming uh, due in April. Uh, talk to us about the law um, and, and kind of help us out with, with different situations uh, that people are having concerning the law. So so these are things that we're planning. As a matter of fact, um, if you are anyone uh, that uh, kind of works in one of those industries and would love to come and help us out, uh, come on the show, be uh, our expert panel for the uh, or expert, I should say, for the evening. Uh, feel free to reach out to us um, and uh, send us your information for um and uh, perhaps you too can uh, come on and kind of get uh, 
educate people on what you do and uh, possibly pick up some services as well. Uh, you can reach out to us at um, at the email address, uh, realfamilytalk at gmail.com, realfamilytalk at gmail.com, and uh, perhaps we can get you on and use you as our expert for that particular week. Like I said, <coughs> we just wanna, we want to push forward and, and help people move forward um, and, and better their lives. That's, that's kind of the goal that we want here. Um, I'm always encouraging people I'm a big, big black business supporter um, and believe we need to do everything to uh, help our communities strive and succeed. Um, as you know, we spend, you know, several, a uh, couple trillion dollars within our community. So it's amazing what we can do if we can start building the services and and things that we need within ourselves and then push some of that, you know, even if we can push, you know, 40 to 30 percent of that two trillion into our community, we can start changing uh, changing the lives of people and then changing where our community will be in the next 10 to 15 years. So uh, anything related to that health wise, um, all that kind of stuff, we're, we're looking to kind of push and, and promote that stuff and promote people who are uh, putting those kind of positive messages and are experts in those areas. So realfamilytalk at gmail.com is the email address. Reach out to us um, and uh, send us your info and we can further talk about uh, that that possibility. Love to hear from the people out there. Real Family Talk at gmail.com so if you or you know someone let them know let them know real family talk is here to support the people the other thing that we want to re start really trying to do is uh reach out to the community um and so you know for people out there if you know anyone having some kind of community event uh give us a call on that too um and and can, so that you can get that information out there you can s send it to the same uh email address real family talk at gmail.com real family talk at gmail.com reach out to us and so that we can help you get your community event advertised um, and push that forward as well like I said we want to just reach out and, and bring black people but people up in general um, from wherever they are to to that next level of where they want to be uh, that's the goal here I, I'm at real family talk and anything we can do to support that um, I'm all for it I know everybody on the panel is all for it um, just you just got to let us know what's going on and, and we'll be there for you real family talk at gmail.com we appreciate it uh, you guys you guys got any comments I know uh, Mr. King's always got big plans going on that that man has always got a got a process and a thought okay oh, he, he's, he's also got a phone call apparently um, <laughs> I'll go well my my 2013 is um, I'm preparing for a, a life-changing event with my surgery um, for those that don't know I have a rare liver disease that will require me to have a liver transplant and the phone call could come at any time but I, I feel like it's gonna come in 2013 I don't think it's gonna come by to, through the holidays so 2013 is gonna be big it's awesome. gonna be big recovery God's got me and uh, that's what it's gonna be about just getting healthy Getting healthy. 2013. That's what I'm talking about. 2013. Mr. Craig's going to be back. I see we have a caller. How you doing tonight? Caller, what's your name? Yeah, what's going on, man? My name is Darius Boston, man. Um, I know King, Mr. King for a long time, man. I told him I was going to call in. This is my first time listening to y'all show, and I really enjoyed it, man. Ah, we appreciate it, man. We appreciate it, man. Appreciate appreciate it, man. Thank you. Right. You got any comments you want to make tonight? What's your plan for 2013? Well, you know, me, myself, personally, man, you know, I'm just working on myself of being a better person, you know what I mean? You know, I came from thugging and just doing all kind of crazy stuff, you know, and last year I made a, a order to myself to, you know, change my ways, and I did good this far, so I just want to continue to keep on doing what I'm doing, so, you know, you know, as far as, you know, getting involved in more in the community stuff, because, you know, I'm, I'm into the music business, so, you know, I want to... I want to help the hood out. You know what I'm saying? All right, brother. All right. That sounds good, man. Well, yeah. we congratulate you on that, man. Shout yeah, out to man. you, man, for uh, for changing your life, man. We need more brothers like that, brother. Oh, you know, you know, you get to a point when you get old. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you get old after a while, and you know, all thugs, all the end, and the end is all thugs stories ain't never good. It's always they dead or in jail. So you know. That's right. Well, well shout oh, out man. to you again, man, for changing your life, man. Well, too, I, I just, got a new fan, man. Y'all got a new fan. I will be tuning in. I uh, appreciate it, man. Just real quick, brother, what you do in the uh, music industry? Um, I rap, produce. I um, also used to host a TV show, uh, Mad Face TV, where we air videos and things like that. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm like, I'm kind of I'm like a little vet in Orlando, you know. Oh, all right, I'm then, brother. Much known around here. 
Okay, then. We appreciate you calling, man. Thank you. Okay, no problem, man. Y'all keep doing it, man. I'm going to keep on listening to y'all, man. Y'all gained a new fan tonight. Uh, appreciate <laughs> that, bro. Appreciate Thank it. Appreciate you. it. All right. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Mr. King, go ahead. Tell us. I know you always got big plans, Mr. King. What's your big plans for 2013? Oh, man. You know, really, I'm just trying to, you know, stay right with the Lord. That is the, one of my biggest plans that I'm trying to complete because, you know, these days there's so much temptation that is trying to tempt me to backslide. And I'm just trying to really stay right with the Lord because as I get older, things just keep on getting in my way and I need to stay strong in the church. That's the main thing, to be honest with you. I mean, I got other couple of things brewing. I have an opportunity actually to move back to Atlanta, but I don't know if I want to take that opportunity or not. It depends. With, uh, if I do take it, I will have to move in uh, January, to be honest, which is probably the end of December. Um, and I'll be living in Atlanta if I go with that opportunity. But I, I, I'm still kind of iffy because, you know, Orlando is my home and where my family is at. So I, I don't know if I want to do that or not. It depends. I've lived in Atlanta. I've done Atlanta. I'm really trying to get to California. Uh, 2013, also, I'd be a, a, a uncle. So that would be something new to me. Aww. Trying to figure out how I do that. I I, I don't know. I'm, I'm great with kids though. Every uh, I'm, I'm you know I love the kids. The kids love me too. You know, I'm 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 good with kids all my life. I've been babysitting, and I'm good with kids. So you know, to be an uncle is something kind of new to me. I don't know what to do. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna see how that's like. Mm. All right, four seven eight nine four sixteen eighty four zero seven eight nine four. 1680 is the number. I should be dropping an album, too, in 2013, a positive, inspirational music album, also like Brother Boston. But, uh, you know, I don't know how that's going to go yet because you know how music is. People don't want to buy your album these days. They just want to see you perform. <laughs> <laughs> After that, or they just want to buy your single, one or the other. I mean, yeah, people ain't. Well, yeah, because, you know, you can go to iTunes or put it on your on your phone these days. Yeah. So, uh, 99 cents. That's all it costs. That's, that's all, all it costs to buy a single. So. 99 cents. Maybe a dollar twenty nine. I think, uh, on yeah. iTunes is the most they, it, yeah, so. they spend on iTunes a dollar twenty nine. So, you know, they'll buy a dollar twenty nine. A lot of people spend a dollar twenty nine for you. But I really want to learn Hebrew. That's my biggest thing. I really want that. that that's one thing that I really want to do in 2013. A lot of my friends in Atlanta, and probably like two friends I have in Orlando, speak fluent Hebrew. And most of the books that uh, are written that we translate to English, you know, some of the dialects, some of the things get changed once you change it over to English. So if you spoke Hebrew and knew how to read Hebrew, it'd be so much easier to get knowledge. And, and that's the main thing that we're actually on earth to do is to gain knowledge and get knowledge. And so that's one thing that I'm trying to master in 2013. I, I want to learn Spanish and Chinese because of business and, you know, to keep a job. But I think I want to stick with Hebrew and go ahead and do that like I was saying I was going to do in Atlanta. Yep. Hebrew. Yeah, man. That's yeah. A new, I don't know too many people that learn Hebrew. Because that's because you, you never lived. You, you lived in, you know, <laughs> other cities, but you didn't you didn't hang around the circles of people that I hung around. Like the people who actually, like Brother Shine. I, I guarantee you Brother Shine, the Brother Jimmy Shine, know a lot of people who speak Hebrew because once you're seeking knowledge, you got to learn. You got to learn Hebrew, dude. It just that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Huh? Yeah, you, if you're going to learn about the different things and really what's going on in life, you got to learn Hebrew. All righty, all right. What about you, brother German? What you uh, what you preparing for in 2013? I'm preparing for blessings. You know, to be honest with you, spiritually, financially, you know, I just like like brother King, just you know, just trying to really get get a closer walk with God, you know, and um, just really have that that ever ending faith, that never ending faith. You know, because I, I really, once you do that, everything else will fall into place. Once you start getting in his will, you get out of his way. I really believe that. So, you know, just taking those steps to make that make those things happen. I believe other things in my life will just, um, they will just take off as they should, you know. Mm. All right, all right. A lot of, um, the brothers are getting closer to God. You can't fault that. Um, I think everybody. Um, needs to take steps to uh, to get closer to God. No matter where your walk is, everyone can always be closer uh, to Him and 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 stay stay prayed up, as they say, uh, stay prayed up and in the Word, for that matter. You gotta yeah. stay prayed up. You gotta you gotta got, stay in the Word. Gotta, you gotta stay, stay in the Word. word. Cause if you don't know the Word, then you don't have nothing uh -uh. to stand on in you the first place. Having, having them bad days at work, just keep quote, quoting 
certain scripts is in your head, head you know, so I don't, don't, don't want to say to white people, but <laughs> say people don't get on your nerves, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all know what I'm trying so to say. So your boss won't get on your nerves. Hey. So, I mean, well, whoever, you know. Your boss ain't always white man. Though. Right, he exactly. ain't. That's why I said I don't want to say white Because I, I met a, a Haitian fellow that owned a 7-Eleven yesterday, matter of fact. Cool guy. There you go. You know, it's a lot more money out there these days besides white people. Okay. It's just black people that ain't doing that. It's just uh, <laughs> okay. Four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty. Four zero seven eight nine four sixteen eighty. And some black people are doing something, brother. Thank you. Not all of them. Some of them are doing something. We're doing something right here on Real Family Talk, bro. Yes, so, oh, okay. Uh, yes, so, we, so, we don't know. own the radio station. <laughs> no, we don't own but the radio station. But now we ain't doing nothing because we don't own it. Oh, I'm just saying. Who owns Macy's? Who owns? You let's name it. something that we own. Don't make me go. What's the, what's the brother name who was on here last time? What you talking brother about? you talking about? The dude, uh, I forgot his name now. Who the controversy brother that we had on oh, here? Jimmy Shot. No, no, we're talking about uh, uh, brother Don Miller. Don Miller. Oh. Don't make me go Don oh. Miller on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you let you know, man. Black people ain't doing nothing. <laughs> we are doing stuff. There's people out here in the community every day. I'm talking about owning. Oh, but owning and everything. What? Well, no, it, owning is not everything. No, owning it's, it's, is a big part of it. Oh, no, it's, it's, I mean, a huge it, part of it. Owning but is ninety two percent. But, but you if, do if, have if to that do is your, in the community. If that is your focus in life, then it is. But for other people, mm-hmm. if that's out in the community, trying to help these these young bucks out here that's tripping, trying to get a change their life around, like uh, brother Darius Boston was talking about, you trying to do that. That's doing something too. Every, everything ain't got to be about financial. You know that ain't owning something ain't got nothing to do. If I own the Seven Eleven, that means I can get these brothers that's on the street a job versus them being on the street trying to sell something to make money. That's what the beauty of owning the Seven Eleven is for. Okay. Now, Not now, working now, many, for the Seven Eleven. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, how many but people do you think are on the Seven Eleven and hire these brothers off the street? Uh, that's what the, the that's what me and the Haitian dude was talking about because it was one dude that was um we were just we, we me and him got into a lot of deep conversation about that was his main goal for owning a Seven Eleven because he was like you know when I talked to him I was like you know I really don't see too many um too many black people and he was like you know no I'm not I'm not black and I was like oh you're Caribbean you're Haitian what are you he was like I'm Haitian and I was like well that's what's up you know we need to see more people of color owning 7-Elevens because most of the time you see you know somebody Indian descent or Arab descent owning a 7-Eleven and that's what me and him started talking about well, he technically was like, they people of color too uh yeah I guess if that's what you want I got a little Indian in me too so you know what I'm saying you see this how <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, it looks very European. <laughs> nah, brother. You don't see it. I got Cherokee. I, I got Chickasaw in but, but owning is a big part of it because owning is about, and hopefully with this brother, like 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 uh, Mr. King was suggesting in there, owning is, is what allows that those finances to be able to flow in the community because somebody has to have some finances, and usually that person owns something. Um, it's in order to be able to funnel those finances back into the community. So it is a big part. It is a big part. You no, know? I'll tell you what a big part is. Get yourself right. Follow God. He'll take care of the rest. Jesus. <laughs> the Lord and Savior Obama is the major part. That's what that's what Jamie Foxx said. <laughs> well, I, thank goodness I don't follow Jamie's word. <laughs> right. <laughs> Last I heard about Jamie, he was getting kicked out of the the, 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 the club. Him and his sister or something like that. And Jamie's just happy to be in the spotlight. That's all that is. Mm, they all happy to be in the spotlight, brother. Oh, that don't mean you got to say the Lord and Savior Barack Obama. Come on. Now. Hey, man. We all know that um, there, there's a, I'll call him a small group of people. I ain't going to say that they put him on that pedestal, but they certainly, you know, they That's put him up there. That's what you call them. They, they but put we know they're bigger than a small group of people. <laughs> they, don't you say nothing about Barack Obama. <laughs> and you call him president <laughs> at that. Because he is the president. See, they're going to want him but right that, now. That's <laughs> they're going to want him He's right the now. president. But I'm not going to say he's God. Come she, on now. She he is man. Night. She ain't said nothing all night. But when you start talking about Barack Obama. <laughs> he is a man <laughs> at the end of the day. You know you can't. Barack is up there. He beyond Denzel. Because, you know, Denzel was one of the top men of color. Beyond, with women But now you got Barack up there I don't know who Beyond them two I think it might be Will Smith Well there's nobody Beyond Barack Obama He is He is the top at this point I think he'll be the know, top man. He'll be the top forever I don't know I man think. I think but Denzel uh, Might have that brother you know? Nah bro Nah Denzel got power too <laughs> <laughs> He ain't got He ain't got Barack Obama power Jake Jake the Washington <laughs> Jake You wanna go to jail Or you wanna go home <laughs> He ain't got that kind of power brother 
He ain't gonna never have that kind of power. Uh, but, but, uh, as time winds down, man, I, I want I, uh, I want to make sure I take the time. Um, as Miss McCray mentioned, um, she is uh, hoping um, or praying, or we know. Let's not say we're hoping and praying. We know um, in the near future she's gonna have that call that she needs in order to get her uh, liver transplant. It's happening. God is working on it. He's going to make it happen. Um, but in, in doing so, um, there's there's a charity out there, the Deltas. Um, the Is it the Orange County chapter that's sponsoring this, I Orange believe? Orange County alumni, as well as the Experienced Christian Center. All right. The Orange they County uh, Orange County chapter of uh, Delta Sigma Theta, as well as the Experienced Christian Center. Um, they're partnering to help raise some funds because there's going to there's gonna be some funds needed uh, when it is time for her transplant. And so uh, they've created a fund uh, to help in that process uh, for Miss McCray. So I want to shout out um, where you can send funds if you are out there and you want to uh, donate to this this particular cause. Everybody knows and loves. I think on everybody on the out everybody on the show, Miss McCray is one of those love people. Uh, you know, because mm-hmm. everybody love women, so <laughs> 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 women always, you know, get the preference over the man. But uh, but that's okay. We love Miss McCray, um, and so I just want to give you the address that you can donate to. Um, it's uh, it's called Changing Experience is the name of the organization, um, and it's P.O. Box six zero eight five nine three P.O. Box six zero eight five nine three. That's Orlando, Florida. Uh, 32860, Orlando, Florida, 32860. Um, and in the, if you're writing a check um, in the, uh, what do we call the, what do you call that little space in the check line? It, it escapes me right now. The memo line? The memo line, thank you. In the memo line, <laughs> you just want to write uh, so that the, the funds go to the proper place. Uh, Phyllis McRae Liver Transplant Benefit. Phyllis McRae Liver transplant benefit um, so that you can donate to her cause uh, it's several thousand dollars uh, that she's gonna need and uh, and they're, they're doing different events um, in order to help in this cause there's one coming up in January um, and we'll be mentioning that um, as we get yeah. closer to January uh, there's a Zumba thon uh, being planned um, in order to help raise funds and, and we'll, as we get close to that event we'll make sure we start shouting that out too uh, but it is again changing experience P.O. Box 608-593 Orlando, Florida 32860 the memo line if you're f- writing a check should say Phyllis McRae liver transplant benefit uh, time is winding down we're going to put this information up on the website realfamilytalk.weebly.com realfamilytalk.weebly.com so you can find it there too um, and uh, again we just want to uh, thank everybody uh, for listening tonight hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving um, again you know we crack on our family but we love them all dearly uh, I even had a cousin text me tonight he, he loved that thing about the Big Mac cake <laughs> 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 you know but that's what we do um, at, uh, at at the Thanksgiving dinner that's the household as they say so uh, 1680 WOKB is the station your urban empowerment inspiration station this is Real Family Talk we will see you next week love you guys good night Follow us on Facebook, Real Family Talk. You can follow us on Twitter, Real Family Talk, and website, realfamilytalk.weebly.com. WOKB, Winter Garden, Orlando.